Hello? Hi, Emily. Okay, trying to get this situated here, like always, is tricky. My in frame. Look at my hair. This is great. I look like a fisherman. It's cold in New England. Hi, Emily. You are first. Emily and Tiffany's here. Great. People are here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I probably shouldn't be wearing a hat, although it's cold. Whoa. Let's do that again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Situate my camera like this so you can see. Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me on this Sunday, Daylight Savings Afternoon. So it's almost one o'clock, although is that reality? That is reality because Daylight Savings is over, right? Because Daylight Savings we have during the summer. Yes, thank you, I like my lights too. So, so far we, so today I'm going to be try, tasting Giant Peppero. Ding, 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 ding. We went to H Mart the other day and I found these. And what else? Um, let me talk about what I did today. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching my video yesterday. Yesterday I did my first ASMR video because I lost my voice last week, but as you can hear, my voice is back. It's still a little bit uh, scratchy and I still have some, you know, substances in there, but my voice is back. But thanks so much, everyone, for the ASMR support. Lots of you enjoyed that video, and if you didn't, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't have a voice, so I couldn't do much about it. And let's see, what else can I talk about? So today, we spent our morning, we went to the flea market. We love, my family, when I say we, love to go to the flea market. And look at this beautiful tray I found. Look at this. Look how big it is. Isn't it great? It's huge. I love it beautiful old wooden tray it was from like a factory I think and it was I paid $20 for it which is a lot I guess but I love it love this thing don't really know what I'm gonna do with it but I just love it what else and went to the flea market and then on the way home we stopped at the local farm and I got these can you see that this is from Jazzwell Farms and these are apple cider donuts. As you can see, we finished half of them. There are six in there. And um, yes, this is classic New England. This is what you find in the fall. These donuts are made with apple cider. They're delicious. They're sweet and covered with cinnamon sugar and have a really great apple flavor. Delicious. They're like a cake donut. They're not like a, you know, what's the other kind of donut? Yeasted donut. They're much, they're like a cake donut. Delicious, love these things. All right, so that was a perfect Sunday for me. We went to the flea market. I found this tray. What else? Oh, I found an, a little russic little backpack, which I got for a dollar. Love that, love getting bargains like that. And then we came home and we had a brunch of, um, you know, typical brunchy stuff and polished off with coffee and donuts. Excellent, excellent Sunday. Favorite things in the world. And now I'm back with you guys. And I am going to be tasting Pepro. So I found these, as I had mentioned earlier, at my local H Mart. And I've got this one, which is the original. So Pepro, for those who have never had it, as you can see, they look a lot like Pokey. And from my understanding, this is the Korean brand of Pokey, which is made by, Pokey is made by Meiji, which is a Japanese company. So this is Pepro. And I got the original. I also got almond. Look at the size of this box though. It's like, it's huge, right? And then I also got this one, super cute. This one is the white cookie, although the cookie doesn't look white. The cookie looks like an Oreo cookie, right? But they're calling it white cookie. And then I got this four pack, which is has a K-pop band on the back. I'm sure it's sacrilegious of me not to know who these guys are, but I'm not a big K-pop gal, so I don't know who those guys are, but they're promoting this one, and this is a four pack. Oh, it's EXO. Oh, thanks guys. Um, so this one I got to do as a reference, so you can see the difference between the original and the big size. And this one contains the original almond cookie and a savory one, a cheese one, right? Yes, this is XO, I guess. I don't know these guys. All right, so now 
Let's try the original ones first. So I have had the giant pokey taste test in a while back. I will put, after this live feed ends, I should put the links to descript in the description of those original tastings I did of giant pokey original, and I also had the rainbow one, which were pretty amazing, because they're rainbow. Anyways, pepero. I don't remember the last time I had pepero. I usually get pokey. You don't see, pepero doesn't seem to be as ubiquitous <clears throat> as um, pokey. I know I do need it. Jennifer says I need a cup of tea. I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay, so, oh no. <laughs> oh man, you guys, this is not giant. I just bought 16 boxes. Eight boxes? I don't even know how many is in here. How many? Eight. Oh my gosh. That sucks. So I actually went specifically to one of the workers at H Mart and said, are these giant pepero? And he says, of course they're giant. Of course not. It's not even April, man, you guys. It's not. It's November. I guess I'm doing a pepperoni taste test. That's not giant. I feel so cheated. Although, I shouldn't be surprised, right? Does it say giant anywhere on this box? Does it? No, it doesn't because this is not giant. Oh my gosh, how many? <laughs> I have so many boxes <laughs> of pepperoni. Oh man. All right, so this is actually a giant box of regular size pepero. It's not giant at all. Oh, curses. All right, I'm just gonna, you know, taste them anyways. So here is a mini box of pepero, and this is a giant box of regular size ones. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, someone's like, eight pack. Yeah, well, you know, I thought maybe they were individually wrapped. Like when I had the giant pokey, they were inside and they were individually wrapped. I should have just, you know, snuck in and broke the seal, but I didn't want to be that person. Oh, all right. Anyways, let's just keep going and taste this. So <laughs> here's the pepero box. It actually looks a little bit smaller than a pokey box. It's a little bit narrower. Man, I guess everybody knows what they're getting for Christmas. All right, so I will make the best of this folly. I will do a little giveaway. So tune in to social media, and I will give away a lot of pepero and all different flavors. So, because I don't need, how many boxes do I have? 32 <laughs> boxes of pepero. All right, so this opens from the top. It doesn't, like Pokey usually has a little seam and it opens like a cigarette box. This doesn't do that. It has a little tab up here. It says open, but it didn't open well, so as this. So that's a little bit different. And then it opens like that. A little bit different than Pokey. And then it says to open up here. Like this. Okay. Oh. Ah. Not as satisfying to open. It's like stuck now. All right. Okay, okay, so there are the sticks. And I wish I had Pokey to come to do a side-by-side -side comparison. They look pretty similar to Pokey. Although from my estimation, I think Pokey have a little bit more of a chocolate dip portion relative to the handle. I've eaten a lot of Pokey in my life. And the stick seems to be similar though. Nice little pretzel. And I think it, Pokey might be a little bit thinner in diameter, just like a schmidge. But I don't know. All right, let's give that a go. Pepero original. Mmm, nom, nom, nom. Very, very, very good. So, the middle is a little biscuit kind of breadstick. It looks like a pretzel, but it tastes more like a biscuit. It has a nice little crunch. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think these are just a smidge thicker than pokey but really great chocolate to biscuit ratio. 
and it's an excellent combination to have a little bit of that chocolate mixed in with the biscuit. Love that. I actually like this combination better than just a regular biscuit because chocolate and biscuits are best friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Delicious. You know, when I was a kid, my brother and I used to eat the handles first because we didn't, this of course doesn't have any chocolate. And then we eat the other side mm -hmm, because we wanted to save the chocolate part for the best, for last. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pepperoni is delicious. I also want to say that chocolate coating seems to be a little bit thinner, but could be in my imagination. Still quite nice. Not overly sweet. Perfect amount of sweetness. Maybe a smidge less chocolate and maybe a little bit thicker in the stick. But can't exactly confirm that because I don't have pulky side by side. This is Pepero. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try this one. And this is not giant Pepero almond. This is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, regular size. Hmm. See? Ah. <laughs> All right, so like the first one I had, this is going to be the original size, and this is almond chocolate. And this box actually looks a little bit wider, is a little bit wider than the original. Probably because it has to accommodate all those almond bits. Not giant. I was really hoping this was going to be giant with lots of big almond chunks, but I might have to make my own or something. DIY. Get some breadsticks. All right. So I don't like how that opens. I really want it to. Okay. Here we go. Open properly. Okay. So there's the bag. And unlike Pokey, sometimes Pokey have two packets kind of divided. This is just one bag. Made by Lotte. And let's, oh, that one. That one tore very, very satisfyingly, very nicely. Didn't get hung up. Oh, do you see? That looks really lovely. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man, I almost had a complete disaster there, but disaster avoided. Mm -hmm. There is a beautiful pepro. It looks very, very similar to Pocky Almond. Very similar. Very heavily encrusted and chocolatey. So I can see why the packaging has to be, you know, wider because each pepro is much wider, right? Oh, I love the, so I love the, excuse me, pokey version of this, and so I'm sure I'm gonna love the pepperoni version. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mm. Very good. But it is different than the um, pokey version. I think the pokey version, if memory serves me correctly, maybe that's men's pokey, is made with dark chocolate. So it's not as sweet. This is quite nice. You get a nice crunch of almond and milk chocolate. But a little bit too sweet. Maybe because there's more chocolate to it. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, in the Pepito version, I actually prefer the original to the almond, which is not the case in Pokey. When I have Pokey, I actually prefer the almond version more than the original. Interesting, huh? Maybe it's a textural thing because, come back here. This is so heavily encrusted with almonds, you kind of, <coughs> excuse me, lose the crunch of the stick because you have so many almonds. And I don't know, the almond flavor isn't as pronounced as I would like it to be. All right. Thanks, Mandy. Mandy loves my hat. This is actually, a, I think I, we have a bunch of them. My husband wears them too. Everyone wears them. Actually, my boys don't wear them. My husband and I wear these things. It's starting to get cold here in New England, which is nice because it's November after all. So, next we're going to try Not Giant Pepero White Cookie. Not giant, right? Let's see. Indeed, it is not giant. Man, they totally got me. Do not let them get you, okay? These are not 
giant. These boxes, they're not fooling you. I'm trying not to be better. <laughs> so, this is the white cookie version, although the cookie's not white, looks like it's going to be some kind of Oreo. Alright, let's see if we can get this one to open nicely. Yes, there we go. And this one comes in this package. So this is the same size, whoa, as, whoa, <laughs> as the, ah, oh, almond one. <laughs> because I think this too is going to be, you know, a little bit wider because it's going to have cookie bits all over it. And yes, Pokey does have a version of this and it is a, I think they call it Panda or something like that. And it's white chocolate with Oreo cookie bits. Yes. Right? Yeah. And I remember not liking them that much. Let's see if I like the Lotte version better or the Pepperdo version better. Okay. So it started off nicely and then it started doing that. And then it, ugh, not satisfying, not. Okay. So pull one of those out. Oh, but it is very pretty. Look at that. Very even distribution of cookie to stick. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Excuse me. Um, all right, let's give that a go. It smells pretty good. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. It's Velma, not Thelma. I know it looked like Velma. Velma was, except I don't have an orange turtleneck. Yeah, those are okay. Pretty good, you know, Oreo cookie vanilla flavor though. I do taste that, but I still don't really like it. So, pokey version, I was like, meh about. And the pepperro version, meh. Yeah, the biscuit base is the same as all the others. Just ever so just slightly cookied, not even barely sweet. And the outside has white chocolate with cookie bits. And it's not really vanilla, it does taste a lot like Oreo cookie. Mm hmm. But it's just not really my favorite. How sweet is it? It's reasonably sweet. Probably the same level of sweetness as all the others. But it seems as I'm tasting the pepperos, they're getting kind of worse and worse in flavor. At least in my opinion. The original was the best one. And then this one was, mm, this one's just really like, no. So, wouldn't really recommend this one unless you, <coughs> excuse me, all right, <coughs> excuse me. Sometimes it's hard to catch my breath still. I'm still a little bit sick, although I sound pretty normal. What was I saying about this? Oh, if you're a huge Oreo cookie fan or if you really like white chocolate or something, maybe you'll like this one. I didn't really care for this one too much. And now I have seven boxes left. Don't worry, I will be giving them away. You can taste them for yourself and see whether or not you like the Oreo cookie version. Right? Pepero. Pepero is the Korean version of Pokey. Someone just asked me, I'm sorry I forgot your name, if I wear these for decorative purposes. No, I am like a bat without my glasses or contact lenses, I can't see. So these are definitely prescription. But I wear <sighs> glasses a lot. I'd probably say almost 50% of the time I wear contacts and then I wear glasses. Mm, glasses are just easy and they're fun. So I have two sons, one is five and one is three. Okay, last is the XO four pack. And so we know we've tasted this one, this one, and this one. Now we're gonna taste this one. I am very intrigued about this one because look at the name. Oh my goodness. I just noticed that, did you see, no. Right above the cheese, what's it say? Nude, as in naked, as in without clothing. Hilarious. Okay, so let's open this. Hello boys. And, they're not giant, no, they're not. Two, original. Ooh, but it's in Korean. 
too. Almond. Two white chocolate. Oh look, it's got a cute little owl face. <laughs> Two nude cheese. So these almost look like, oh gosh, what is the, n I forget. Oh, toporo, I think it's called toporo or something, or topo, topo, I think, that are like these, the Japanese version, they're hollow and then it's filled with the flavor, right? I think that's what this one's like. I've never had this one before. Um, it was, I'm presuming this is gonna be Pepero though, cause it's in a Pepero four pack. New cheese. Don't want our cheese with clothes on it. We want it nude. Open this up. And, oh, cute. Sunny yellow package. In case you didn't know what I was tasting, this is what I'm tasting. This is what, this just should be the thumbnail. Nude cheese, not naked, nude. Okay, let's see how well this one opens. Oh yes, that opened beautifully. No snags. Yep. Ooh. Wow, that's odd. It's sweet smelling. <sighs> kind of oily, definitely sweet. All right, so let's see how many are in here. Good stack in there. And look, they're very different than the other pepperos because they are hollow. Let me get an original. Oh, where's my bag of original? <clears throat> so here's original, right? And let's do a diameter. See, there you can see. Hollow versus not hollow. Yes, it's like a very, very skinny combo. Right, so you can't really see the cheese in there. Let's break it and see if we can see. Okay, there you go. So it is filled and it looks kind of like pale yellow in color. Right, let's give that a taste. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. First off, the texture is really, really different. It doesn't have that light kind of pop like when you eat a pepper or a pokey. Like, so satisfying, right? Pop. This does not do that because it has a filling in the middle. Ah. So, texturally in the beginning, it's just very weird. Second, what's very weird is this is sweet. This is a sweet, cheesy thing. And buttery, that's what it is. It has a very strong, thick, buttery flavor. Not cheesy, buttery. No. I don't like new cheese. I mean, I really do like new cheese. I love cheese. Snacking on cheese. Ooh, this one had a leak. Look. It's just really odd. Because it's like, it's like, kind of like cake box mix. That kind of sweet buttery smell, like when you make a butter cake, you know, cake mix, like that. <coughs> Maybe if I didn't see this advertised as cheese, it would be better because it'd be like, oh, it's just butter flavor or sweet buttery. But the fact that it says cheese makes me go, ugh, ugh. yeah, don't like that either. So definitely in the progression of my taste test, I tasted them in this order. Doom, 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 doom. Definitely got worse. Best, worst, worst. New cheese, not so Definitely worth trying, maybe, but yeah, these two are kind of like toss up tied for, <coughs> excuse me, third. And then these two are, I feel like on a different tier. These two are definitely better than these two, but no, it doesn't taste like combos at all. I was thinking that these would taste like combos too, because you know, cheese, you know, pretzel stick outside, yay. No, no, sweet, sweet butter non-crunchy thing, not not good. Yes, I'm still slightly sick. I've got some, you know, mucus in there. I still have a little bit of a cough. 
but my voice is back, which is so great. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, kids. So that was the not. I said I was going to get over this, but I'm kind of not over it, if you can't tell. These, if you see them at any store, you're like, whoa, isn't that so cool? What are we? Hi, K Prince. Thanks so much for being a super chatter. I appreciate it. So if you end up going to the store and you see a display of these and say, oh, wouldn't it be so cool to have a giant pepero because that would be so cool, don't do it. Don't buy it because they're not. They are eat packs because they're lying to you. <laughs> All right, I'm in the mistake, so you didn't have to. And um, thanks, you guys, so much for tuning in for my little pepero taste test. I plan to be here next Sunday as well to do a little, you know, midday, you know, taste test or something or other. All right, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will see you guys soon. I will publish a video tomorrow, Monday, at 8 p.m. Eastern time, so I'll see you guys then. All right, have a great day. Bye!